Welcome to another Council Close-Up. I'm here with Jonathan Greenblatt from the White House Office of Social Innovation. Thank you for being here and Thank speaking you for having today. Me. Uh, you did a great presentation. I heard a lot. There was a lot of tweeting about it afterwards, a lot of good information. So, uh, can you just tell uh, those that couldn't be here what some of the things that you hit on today were? Well, thanks very much. And I must say how grateful I am for the opportunity to be here today with the Council on Foundations and to share uh, a little bit about our work at the White House. So what we talked about today is the President's vision of creating an America that's built to last. We talked a little bit about the FY13 budget and its focus on the core priorities that the President laid out in the State of the Union last month. And they really build from his speech in Kansas in December, which is, number one, creating a foundation that is focused on improving education, strengthening manufacturing, training and skills development for all Americans, and an economy bound up in American values. It's all really important, and it all comes together around our focus on entrepreneurship and innovation to create jobs, to drive the economy, and to push forward. And so we talked a little bit today about how our social innovation agenda ties into an economy that's built to last. We talked a little bit about the role of human capital and financial capital, and our specific mission, which is focused on elevating community solutions. The President has given us the charge to focus our efforts and how can we lift up what works, provide scale where the new initiatives need support, provide a spotlight where it's attention that's actually useful, or even how can we help to pilot or kickstart high potential of promising new initiatives. So our focus is very much on how do we get out of the beltway and find examples all over the country of where citizens and nonprofits, businesses and faith-based organizations, ordinary citizens coming together solve problems in new and innovative ways. You mentioned getting out around the country and what would you say philanthropy's role? How can philanthropy help? The, the President has described this as an all hands on deck moment. We can't do it alone. In order to elevate community solutions, it requires cross sector collaboration at the local level. It means we've got to break out of the silos. We've got to find ways to pull together, to strengthen our communities, to nourish our neighborhoods, to you know, lift up all communities. So in that sense, philanthropy has a crucial role to play because philanthropy is so often a catalyst, almost like, I might say, the risk capital for innovation in the social sector. And that's the right dynamic, I think, is where philanthropy, charitable contributions, which are so important to our economic health and so important to our communities, they represent risk capital to kickstart new initiatives, and then government can come in as the growth capital to scale what works. And we talked a little bit today about the need for evidence-based approaches. I mean, we know we manage what we measure, and so we are very focused on how can we encourage attention to impacts and outcomes. How can we ensure that we're moving the needle on our toughest problems. And what I'm excited about in terms of the role of philanthropy is that we know that philanthropists typically demand such performance. Typically philanthropists who are managing capital are very much focused on the bottom line. So bringing that point of view to the practice of philanthropy we think is really important. You mentioned also during your talk today about the Social Innovation Fund. What are some of your thoughts on that? Well, the Social Innovation Fund is a approximately $50 million fund. It's administered by the Corporation for National and Community Service. It's a leveraged fund where for every dollar that the government invests, we have a network of financial intermediaries called the Venture Philanthropies, or nonprofits, who take our dollars, raise those do raise additional dollars three to one. So our $50 million has spawned $200 million annually in giving. And they use that capital to invest locally in high impact nonprofits. The social innovation part of the SIP essentially serves as the growth capital to scale up what works. The social innovation fund is notable on a number of levels. It is one of our most prominent evidence based programs, really a signature of this administration. We've had two rounds, and now we are about to embark upon the third round of the SIP. That's really significant. For people who are interested in the Social Innovation Fund, it's worth going to nationalservice.gov 
in order to look at the recent notice of funding, because we are excited for this third round of the SIF to be as robust and to be as broad as possible. We're excited for the engagement of philanthropies and nonprofits from across the country. And our focus this year is on expanding opportunity. How can we support the strengthening of the social sector and those organizations focused on expanding opportunity? And the Social Innovation Fund is really one of those rare opportunities, again, for leveraged dollars that are high impact. So I would love to see everyone, nonprofits and philanthropies alike, going to nationalservice.gov to learn more about the SIP and see how they can participate in the third round. You gave uh, the contact information or where to go for more information on that. Is there any other places people can go for more information on the work your office is doing? That's a great question. So I think to learn more about the Social Innovation Fund, go to nationalservice.gov. Mm -hmm. You can click on the link. To learn more information about the Office of Social Innovation at the White House, you can go to whitehouse.gov. Simply Google social innovation or search, excuse me, social innovation, and you'll easily find information about our office, information about our agenda, blog posts, and more examples of the work that we're doing. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Thank you for having us. coming today, and stay tuned for more Council Close-Ups later today.